The legal profession is the backbone of the society. And in my opinion, lawyers are the keepers of the gate. We help ensure justice and fairness for, for all people. Having a law degree enables you to pursue many, many careers. It's important that black lawyers become involved uh, in the struggle for justice. We need more African-American lawyers. I think the profession uh, could certainly benefit by having increased minority representation. There is no place that anyone can go and practice law and not interface with clients who are people of color. We need more lawyers of color to represent our constituents. There are so many wonderful opportunities, but you need that education to get it. I'm a civil rights attorney. Uh, the type of law I practice is civil rights. Uh, women, for example, still are paid less than men for doing, for doing the exact same work. In a lot of situations, people of color are paid less than, than uh, others for doing the exact same work. And there's got to be somebody who guards the door, who's a protector of the door, the protector of the gate, to ensure that people's rights are not abridged, are not uh, infringed upon. Well, I'm a solo practitioner. Some people refer to it as a sole practitioner, which means I am a, a one lawyer at a law firm. Uh, when I first finished law school in North Carolina, I opened up a practice in the Charlotte area, and uh, after practicing law there for several years, I came to D.C. to get an advanced law degree in litigation. And when I finished that program, I opened up a practice again, a solo practice here in D.C., and I've been here by myself ever since. I enjoy being a solo practitioner, and with technology the way it is now, a solo practitioner can pretty much level the playing field with the big firms. Growing up, I was always interested in the uh, legal profession. Uh, I sought out engineering initially um, because it was a challenge. I was always good at numbers, I was good at science, good at math, and I was told by people that perhaps I should be an engineer, so that's what I did. After working for about a year, maybe a year and a half, I realized that um, engineering wasn't quite what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. Uh, so I sat down one day and I thought, uh, what is it that I really, really want to do? A friend of mine who's also an engineer, who went directly from engineering school uh, in a program with me to law school, uh, was attending a historically uh, black university's law school and told me that perhaps I should come by and sit in our class. When I went to the law school, I was amazed. I, I was in love. I saw a lot of people who were good looking, who were intelligent, and they looked like me. And they were black people. He came in and of course he's, he's very confident and uh, very wonderful and introduced himself and had goals in mind, what he wanted to achieve during the time that he was here, which was to become a very skilled trial lawyer, to become an exceptional lawyer. What I really enjoyed about law school was trial advocacy, being a member of the trial advocacy board. Uh, being a member of that board, I got a chance to compete against law students all across the country and I got a chance to hone my, my knowledge of civil procedure and my knowledge of evidence because you've got to use that knowledge in mock trials. Um, I made quite a few friends from around the country competing against different uh, students from different law schools. People generally, in my experience, go to lawyers who look more like themselves. And if we don't have enough lawyers of color, people who look like me and other people of color, then I'm afraid there won't be enough people to represent the interest of African Americans and other people of color in this country. One mentor is Donald Temple, who's a civil rights lawyer. He's been practicing for, for over 15 years in the area of civil rights, and I've worked with him on several cases, or rather, he's worked with me to help me out on cases. Another mentor is Dean Robinson, who's a, who's a dean at, at the LLM program that I attended. And actually, one of the things that I want to do in the future is teach school. I want to be a law professor, and Dean Robinson is helping me to do the things that I need to do to ensure that one day I will be a law professor. Another person I really look up to, that's Judge Urbina. He's a U.S. District Court judge here in the District of Columbia. Uh, he was an, he's an adjunct professor at the university where I, where I received my LLM, and he actually uh, taught a course that I took in that program. He's a man of great dignity, and I, I really respect him and I look up to him. When I talk to Curtis, I try to let him know that I've had some of those same experiences, 
that some of those doubts will dissolve as, as he matures and ripens into the profession and as uh, he acquires a kind of recognition and success that is inevitable. I remember one morning coming out of a courtroom and I was busy and I had two other courthouses to go to. And a little lady stopped me. She said, sir, are you a lawyer? And I said, yes, I am. She said, can you help me? And for some reason, her car had been impounded for no fault of her own. And she didn't know where it was. She had some documentation letting her know that it had been impounded. Um, and she wanted me to help her. And I was in a hurry. And I looked at her. And I looked at, you know, I looked at what I had to do. I looked at my hands. I looked at her again. And I took a deep breath and I said, OK. And she had a large envelope full of papers. But to make a long story short, I went through those papers. I did the documentation necessary and got the necessary signatures. I found out where her car was. And I got an order and had it signed by the judge all within about an hour. And I got that lady her car back. I'd say, if, if you check your heart and you find that you really want to be a lawyer, you should go to law school. And regardless of what hesitation you might have, you should, you should follow it. If you, if you truly believe in something, follow it with all your heart and it'll come to pass.